everybody. We have a party today. Been a couple weeks, but we're back. I have enchiladas that I'm eating. So And you didn't share. Pardon that. Brian is eating some tacos. He will show his pretty face when he's done eating tacos. I finally get to see it? Brian's pretty face? Yeah. Never mind. I, I, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I ignored it. I take it he can't hear us? His mouth is full. <laughs> So that's how I get him to keep quiet. By feeding him? I guess so. Also, the cameras got fucked. Now they're unfucked. You know what? That was probably my fault. Yeah, it had to have been my fault. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna blame you anyway. Yeah. Everyone. Look who finally decided to grace us with his present. That's right. I definitely wasn't fucking here an hour ago. <laughs> <clears throat> Art. <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair, I'm the latest one. It's true. Oh, Haley. <laughs> That was a really big bite. <laughs> you didn't see any of it fall. <laughs> That's what I was oh Haleen. <laughs> okay, I probably, I was about to say probably the dumbest thing in my life. I was very excited. I was like, oh wow, you and Brian have a very similar background. Uh huh. Sure Wonder why. Can't imagine <laughs> that it'd be the mar being married or anything like that. We're sitting next I to each other. Sleeping. <laughs> I get to fight people like this because, for a recap, Brian, uh, y'all made it to Katal. Uh, Karnas is now with his kobold clan. I, well, my duke started a fucking war. And now I am in the arena to fight. But thankfully, Brunhilde got me my book. Yep. Karnas is... He saw his clan, but he did not stay with them. Nope. Is it... Oh, wait. We had to go off to get a sword. <clears throat> yep. We haven't gotten that sword yet, either. Nope. Um, but... Karnas met his old friend, Luke... Luke claimed Karnas owes him money, even though Karnas does not. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah. Bromley needs to go talk to... Uh, Contact, like what, an old family member of his or something. Yeah, yeah, I think it was that. And so Bromley and Damien came to find Karnas outside the arena, saying that they need to go to the... Um, dwarf place and Karnas is like no 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 let's fight in the arena first earn some money kick some asses it'll be it'll be a good time I promise please 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 can we and he gives the the puppy dog eyes <laughs> come on Damien please it'll be fun your puppy eyes don't work on me I had to try. Come on, it'll be great. We'll we'll get gold, we'll get money, and then we can spend it on stuff. You can buy those things for you know who. That go on the finger. Excuse me, ma'am. We already have some of those. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got them from Tina. Right. Tiny Tina's tiny. <laughs> Rings. 
Something like that. We can collect teeth. We can fight in the arena and we can get more teeth to go buy more things from Tiny Tina. I don't know that we need any more Tiny Tina. But she has so many cool things and Alari hasn't even gone, gotten to go shopping there yet. I don't know that Alari would want to shop. Actually, she probably would. Exactly! So and I'd probably get... In the arena, get some teeth, get some gold. Brumley, I Boy, I do I have... Gaming or talking to each other. You see a group of uh, people enter the arena and start placing bets. You start picking up on hearing of, I got bets against the elf. I own it up. That. Because uh, Brian's super low for me, so that's all. I'm kind of hard. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna turn my mic on and you know get yeah. double. Yeah. Brian, as Cronus and Damien are talking, you hear a uh, commotion over near the gates of the arena of people talking about the commotion of the elf that just entered town is being thrown into the arena and they are placing bets on how long she'll she's gonna win that. Oh. From what I'm picking up from the crowd, there's a there's a fight happening today of a elf that just got into town. And people are starting to throw money down. Oh she was really nice. Oh. But they have her fighting in the arena? That seems odd. And oh. if, if they got her fighting in the ring, then that means the uh, negotiations went uh, south. Yeah. Safe to say. Fine. It's probably going to be a bad idea, but fine. Yay! Yeah, it would be a, it would be a safe bet to at least help out a help out someone. Are you joining us, Bromley? Might as well. <clears throat> well, we may not be entirely screwed. We're good fighters. Yes, but we don't know what we're up against. Granted, we don't know what we're up against half the time anyway, so... Exactly, and I'm I'm a pro at arena fights, trust me. A pro? A pro? Yes. So what are you famous for? You got picked up by a bird out of the arena. I mean, you know, sometimes shit happens. That does not make you a pro. <laughs> Well, let's go go enter and place bets on ourselves. Yeah, let's enter. You guys approach the front desk. There's a little goblin up front. He goes, Right, who are you betting on? We're entering. You're entering? Oh, wait, you want to go downstairs on the right? Don't mind the blood Great. upstairs. Great. Here. Can like choose your way so you can get more people to buy uh, tickets and stuff. Yeah. You start making your way down the bloody stairs into the uh, ramparts of the arena. <clears throat> you open the door and just the smell of bloodied iron just fills your nostrils. It's a welcoming scent to Karnas, but it's a well, little that's... abrasive. Just like Blood, old. That's Kinda pleasant. Musty in the air, just, just heavy. <clears throat> you see a bunch of combatants down there, with mostly human. There's a couple dwarves, uh, tinkering with little objects. One's got like a little flamethrower going on. One's got a little like 
suit of armor that he's trying to work on to make it into a little tank. Well, that's interesting. You see a tall Goliath in just, like, strapped leather armor and goes, Right, who are you? I'm Kronik, uh, the of Katal. Of here. Heard. Of course you have. I used to fight in the arena all the time. Anyway, this is my group, and we're going to enter. Same. I'm Garnet. This is Damien. Name of your group. Oh. <laughs> uh, right. Karnas is... crew. I thought I would say, how about the one I've always been calling you? The Misfit Adventurers. The Misfit Adventurers. I like that. That'll work. Alright, whatever. Uh, what are your specialties? I'm a fighter. What kind of fighter are you looking for? Sorry, what kind of bracket do you want to be in? He's like flipping through uh, pages on a clipboard. He goes, alright, Mr. Adventures. What kind of fighter are you looking for? Looking what do you have available? Well, we got... Flips through. We got a troll. We got some dragons. We got a bunch of sabers. Or you can fight another party. Well, you can fight another party. Okay. We got. Oh, I'll make it a surprise for you. Great. Oh, we got the uh, elf if you want to fight her. That should put up a good show. What if we fight with her? Why would you want to fight with an elf? She was. She. 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 Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Her boss was just okay. it's just no. like it's just like every Asimar and every tiefling. Not every Asimar is sweet and not every tiefling is an asshole. An if you'd like to find Fallen Angel, how about that? Uh, one of those weird things. Yeah. Listen, I don't know anything about your race or, or anything like that. Do whatever you want, devil. I'll put you with the uh, elf. Alright. That's how that phrase goes. You guys want to go through that iron gate? First door on the left. Guard will let you into her cell. Fantastic. Karnas is like, as we're walking, Karnas is like jumping up and down with excitement to be back at the arena. You're actually happy to be back here, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. I got to see my family. I get to fight in the arena again. This yeah. should be the cell. Yeah, I'm like, well, I guess I must be treading new ground because I don't hear much of paladins entering uh, fighting arenas. You ever hear of a rogue fighting and enter entering a fighting arena? Oh, because rogues, rogues are... There was one! <laughs> a long time in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> far, far in the future. I'm not built for this shit either. But we just have to survive. So, we have, we have a job to do. Gate. See a guard go. What are you here for? Whose team are you joining? Um, we're having the elf join us. <laughs> okay. So you're special fighters. Got it. In this room, so you're gonna hear a large lock on your door, and it opens up. You see the guard peer in. He goes, "You got company, elf." The door opens wider. You see Carnus's 
big ass grinning face that's like kind of skipping through the room, followed by begrudgingly <laughs> Damien and uh, Bromley. It's the tiny kobold. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you fighting me? We're fighting with you. Thank you. What? Why would you make such a decision, though? Um, because you, no offense, um, I wasn't sure if you would make it in a fight, and I heard that you were fighting, so I thought we should join you and try to help you. Um. Yeah, we're trying to make sure you survive. I have nothing against I... elves. <laughs> gnomes on the other hand. Thank you. <laughs> I hope we fight some gnomes. We're tearing them. Arr. Haley, you're echoey. Am I echoey in Discord or on the stream? I'm not listening to you on the stream, to be fair. It's just in Discord. Yeah. We're echoey in, you're echoey in Discord, though. That's because we both have our mics on. <laughs> well, maybe if you guys didn't care about each other so much to sit next to each other. <laughs> yeah, go to the other room, bitch. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. She likes when I talk dirty. Whatever. <laughs> do, you, do you see that grin right now? <laughs> see you guys into the room, start talking to Sabina. You hear the heavy wooden door slam behind you and uh, uh, iron key lock it. Oh, that's. Yeah, sorry about that. They're kind of assholes here. I hadn't noticed. So, it'll be about two hours before your fight. What do you guys want to prepare for your fight with? You can change out spells. You can reattune to equipment if you want. I preemptively changed out my spells. Also, like, counts as, like, a long rest. So you start at 100. <clears throat> if it's a long rest, does my HP, uh, buh -buh, the shit, what is it called? Temp HP go away. I almost gave myself a hundred. Kernis will um Bells. munch on his his various collected snacks from his bag. He'll offer it to the party. Start pulling out like rabbit bones and crunching on them. I'm gonna prepare. Like I'm gonna obsessively go over my spell book. I'm looking through and changing out some spells. Okay. <clears throat> While you guys do that, Karnas. You recognize the room. You used to be in this room a lot. You know that there's a bunch of little, like, tiny holes that you crawl through to, like, chase rats and eat them? You know one of them leads to the arena. <clears throat> um... I, I point out the hole that leads to the arena, and then I climb in it, climb through it to try to get a sneak of what the fights before us are. Right. The fight before you, someone is fighting uh, two wyverns, and you just see the two massive dead bodies of wyverns on the ground, be slowly being dragged out the uh, large portcullis towards the market, presumably just cut up and used for scraps and meat. <clears throat> you do hear some, a lot, oh, down the tunnel, you do hear co a commotion. You kind of scurry your little way down, like only you can say it pretty much. You start seeing, uh, give me a luck roll. Not much that's in the way. Through like a little crack, you can see the uh, com competitor's room. You hear mild chanting, but it's nothing you've ever heard before. 
Uh, there's a dark robe that's blocking the view. You do see a, a slight shimmer on the robe from the magical essence of it being enchanted, but you don't know what the hell it is. Stay for a couple <coughs> minutes. Then you decide to start making your way back. Okay. I heard some weird chanting out there. I don't know what it was saying. Did it sound like happy chanting? No. Oh. <laughs> That's was, not good. It was kind of eerie. I, someone was wearing a really sparkly robe. So they got a flair for the dramatic here. <laughs> yep. That's one way to put it. <laughs> I'm just going to dive right back into my book. I am very nervous. <clears throat> so, we'll just do a time skip. Mm -hmm. Two hours pass. So you're preparing and whatever else you want to do. The latch on the door unlocks and groans open. Right, you're up. Oh, good. That should be fun. Swings the door open wide. Motions for you to go out the left side. Guards hit, like, hand on his uh, sword hilt. Just get moving. Yes. Get up. Stretch. Crack your neck. Crack your knuckles. Start making a way. You eventually come across a long, uh, a slow like, arching to the right uh, ramp that leads up to the fighting arena. It goes from sand to cobblest or cobblestone to sand. Comes to a first portcullis. It, as you approach, it raises up and ratchets into the arena where you're in a little staging area where the portcullis is still closed. As soon as you all pass through the initial gate, the one behind you slams closed. Where for the dramatic is right. You hear someone with a bolstered voice that echoes throughout the entire stadium. Greetings, everyone of Katal. Today we have a treat for you. A traitor amongst the mists. One of those devilish elves have tried to become one of us. Said they tried to assassinate the king. So we captured her and made her fight in the arena. We Some did what? fools wanted to join her. So, <laughs> if they win, they get her winnings. We'll see what happens next. We, uh, figured we could put someone against her. So we found an old friend of the arena. Good old Almod. And the cheer the crowd just starts cheering and going wild. Uh Parnas. What? Who's Almod? Um He's a uh, super strong wizard guy. Oh good. The cheers That's are gonna, die gonna be fun. Time. Just combatants, are you ready? <clears throat> you see a wizard on the other side raise a staff. The crowd Talk cheers. Louder. What? Talk louder. Into my own damn mic? No, into mine. I don't have your mic on stream because then it'll echo. <sighs> also, thanks for the reset, Maddie. Me! At one point, do I got a reset? Um, I think, Penny, was he just quiet? Could you hear everything? He was just quiet? But did you hear him? Do you know what he said? Yeah, you gotta tell me when you do that, Haley. 
Oh you shit, plus five to Damien. Hell yeah. You Thanks, know Maddie. When yeah. I stream this, it's because y'all help. I don't have <laughs> your mic on because an echo's on the stream. You've been doing double mic for the last four streams. I have not. I promise. Anyway. <clears throat> if the combatants are you ready. Yeah! The As well as be. raises the staff. You guys quite see they didn't quite get all the corpses out of the arena yet. They just kind of shoved off to the side. There's still some yeah. like pinned into the uh, spikes on the wall. So you don't like try and climb up and out. You see there's a, an arcane shimmer of a dome over the arena. Between the, uh, the sand pit and the uh, crowd. So people are trying to like throw things into the arena. It just kind of like makes a little boom. And like slides off so the crowd can interfere. Also, so stray spells and uh, arrows don't fly up into the crowd and kill anyone. <clears throat> you see the portcullis raise slowly. <clears throat> as soon as the portcullis raises, everyone will initiative as the arena starts filling with a heavy fog. Eighteen. Oof. <clears throat> oh, Bromley. Now twenty. I've got a pepper dream next to me. No, oh, that's nice. Mm hmm. You're getting so gray in the face. And look, I'm gonna use the dice Haley made. Ooh! I mean, you, Ooh. you. You painted it. Yeah, you made the fucking dice though. <laughs> I didn't make Haley, it. Haley, how much for a set like that? I love that. This is one of the Chunky Boys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just, I love the color, like the frosted look. Uh, the Chonky Boy is the only one that gets the frosted look, uh, because of the type of mold that it is. Um, mm -hmm. and a Chonky Boy is $30. Where can I buy this, Haley? Huh, you can buy it directly from me. Send me a message. No, legit, though, when I, my paycheck comes in, I want one of those chalky boys. So does Penny. <clears throat> <laughs> it would fit my mermaid theming. I have a, uh, I'll show you when I make pennies. Yes, the big D20 dice. <laughs> uh, when I make pennies, I have a mica powder literally called mermaid dust. Ooh. Ooh. Um, don't, don't worry, Penny. My, uh, <laughs> my paycheck doesn't come in for a while. Yikes, really? <laughs> Whoever pays me first. Not, <laughs> not until the end of the month. I get paid oh, once shit. a month. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I am gonna go buy more resin tomorrow so I can work on that chunky boy. I'm All excited. Right. I mean, to be fair, unless I... Unless I work, I don't get paid. Oh yeah, because you're you're a sub, right? And I'm not yeah. employed by the county. I'm sending out Smitten's Chunky Boy tomorrow. So I didn't get paid for I didn't get I didn't get paid. Jesus, I'm sorry. It is what it is. <clears throat> I don't have any pressing bills, so that's the only good thing. Who is first, Monsieur DM? You. Damien is up first, then Damien, oh. then Ahmad, then 
Carlos Zumbrano. Oh. Uh, remind me of, can I see the figure in front of us? He is about 300 feet on the other side of the arena. Oh. Uh, and he is emitted can a I see that far? crosses the arena. You can see about 50 feet in front of you. Okay, I'm debating what spell to use, and I don't want to start off stupid right off the bat. Oh, uh, come on, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Uh, also, it's a higher level spell, so I'm going to hold off for when we're in our positions. So I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Sounds smart. What level? Uh, that's the weird thing. I'm having a struggle where it's not showing up. I have to keep adding it and unadding it in my settings. So hold on. Right, so you the... Mage Armor on yourself. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. It's just not showing up. Oh, there it is. That's so weird. I can only cast it at a level three or level one, and it's my AC becomes uh, thirteen plus my Dex modifier. Okay. So my my hourglass goes up one. I'm 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 unmuting you for the stream. You had me mute. Sweet. Sweet. Not Not you, Maddie. You, Maddie. Yeah, I don't have to, yeah, don't have to fucking yell. Oh, So, Sabina, Sabina enters the arena from the, from the little staging area. How far, How far into the arena are you going to go? Stay pretty far back. So you're going to stay in the staging area? Like a little oh, hole? Oh, no. I'll step out into, like, the front. In okay. front of the hole. Okay. 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 Sounds fair. And you... You wave your hand over your body, and a slight shimmer uh, displaces some imagery, but you have cast mage armor on yourself. Damien, you're up. Um, I'm probably going to move in. I'm going to move in and ahead of uh, Sabina. But I don't have any spells that are useful for the, now, so that'll pro that's all I'm going to do. Okay. okay. How far, How far in are you moving? I'd say the full 30. Okay. okay. <laughs> Anything, else? Anything else? Nope. Do the, the fog. Everyone, Everyone will be a perception check. To see if you recognize what it is. You start hearing, you start hearing groans, groans with a uh, distinct, uh, distinct sound of clicks and clacks. Snaps. 24. Uh, Brahmi, uh, give yourself advantage on this one. Alright. One more? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. 15. <laughs> uh, Carnus and Damien, you hear the distinct sounds of skeletons. Uh oh. This will be fun. And ghouls. Fun. Oh, good. We had such a good time with those. I always spell skeletons wrong. S K E L E T O N S. I put I in there for whatever reason. Skeletons. I? Yeah. The skeletons. <laughs> yeah, I could totally see that. I could see it. Also, that is the only correct word I have, or the only word I've spelled correctly today, and I teach English. You teach oh. English? Yeah, they, taught, they put me in the English teaching room. <laughs> so, so, from around, from around you, eight skeletons eight. arise out of the sand. For, the, for Carnus and Demi, he noticed first. You guys can take an attack of opportunity on a skeleton coming out of the ground. Otherwise, there's two skeletons going to be attacking everyone. So go ahead and make your attacks of opportunity with a melee weapon. Because you don't have the feet for the spell thing. No, I didn't know how far away they were. They came out right next to you. Did not help at all. Ooh, Art, go ahead and roll me a D100 for funsies. 
Oh, that's for good. I should have worn my Roll for Punsy shirt. Brian wore it yesterday. I wore it yesterday. I wore it yesterday. <laughs> I'm I decided like to fucking wear it because Haley always steals it. Five. <laughs> It's not a work shirt okay. anymore because it's cursed, but I like it, so. Five. Uh, uh, go ahead and make me a dexterity save. <laughs> oh, this is not going well for me. Cool, cool, cool. 27. Oh. Oh. Damn! You immediately start to you, uh, take a thrust at the uh, skeleton. The one like starts coming out of the ground directly underneath your feet. It off balances you a little bit. You kind of like just kind of kick back and do a little flip. Uh, you are not knocked prone. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm gonna make my my roll. Twenty-one. 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 Kind of you take out your great sword and just go fuck as the skeleton just coming out of the ground. Yeah, just fucking pop his fucking head off. Yeah! You see the body still crawling out of the sand. Pulling the uh, broken, like, half-broken sword with it. Um. So that's two attacks against everyone. So first against Karnas. What's your AC? 16. I get plus four. So one hits. Go ahead and take seven damage. Next one's against Damien. Damien, what's your AC? Thirteen. Thirteen. One hits for five damage. Next is against Bromley. What is your AC? Twenty. Twenty. Those skeletons miss. And Sabina, yours is fourteen? Mine is currently sixteen. Sixteen. One skeleton just hits you. Oh, five. For four damage. Oh, woo. <laughs> That's not bad. So skeletons all around and start clambering out of the sand. The little, like, bone clacking sounds. Like, half dead, half uh, rotted away adventuring armor. Some arrows sticking out of them. Broken sword. They start thrusting and swiping at you. You hear muttered chanting coming from across the arena. Um, that brings us to Karnas. I will move full 30 feet towards... Oh, and when uh, Sabina gets hit, you hear the crowd cheer. Makes sense. Go ahead. Um, we'll move the full 30 feet forward. Um, All right, let's start from shooting at you from six of them. Six of them? From... Ah. <sighs> That's six of them. Is anyone getting Ryan yeah. and Robot? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What's your C? Uh, 16. Your C? Wow, there's a huge delay. Only wow. two of them hit. There is. Only two of them hit. You what? talking and you coming you... through the Discord? You come is... through the Discord is. I can also hear Giant myself through your microphone. I can also hear myself through your microphone. Also, Brian's missing on Discord, and he's yep. frozen completely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's back, like... Brian. Hey, you're back. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> I wonder if it was a brief net issue. So as Karnas rushes forward, he takes ten uh, piercing damage from the skeletons, taking an attack of opportunity against him. Karnas, your turn. Are there any near me at this point? Uh, you ran away from six of them, but you ran towards presumably Damien's too. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight, the one fight the ones by Damien. Okay. Okay. Go for it. So that's 26 to hit. Good first swipe hits. 27. And 15. And 15. You take your sword out and just like start spinning in a circle. You keep whacking one of them. First one takes off the head. Second one takes off the leg. Second one you just separate the rib cage and they all just start 
the skeleton just starts flying everywhere, bones everywhere. One skeleton's down. Sweet. That's my turn. Okay. Okay. That'll bring us to Bromley. All right, now there's basically a skeleton all around us. Basically. Yes. yes. You have six skeletons next to you. All right, so I I get the closest one to me. Go for it. That'll hit. <clears throat> you crack him with your holy mace, and the first skeleton just turns into like its uh, bones absorb the, absorb the radiant light, and just pop. Bone shards go flying everywhere. One skeleton down. Did I find the next one? Do it. Do it. Nineteen. Next skeleton, you whack it, you knock its head off, it goes flying off towards the stands, hit that magical barrier, it does it on a spike. The rest of the skeleton body falls to the ground and just kind of shatters with radiant energy. Anything else? Uh, but, but, but I think I did everything. Okay. Okay. Better take us back to Sabina. Uh, I'm going to cast Firebolt on one. Go for it. Go for it. Alright. Um, control V. I hope a 21 hits. 21 will definitely hit. <laughs> I'm so grumpy about the other night when you were like, does a 37 hit? <laughs> <laughs> So, if that's confusing anyone, Maddie essentially woke up the god of assassins <laughs> oh, no. after being tortured for many thousands of years. So she stabbed the first person she saw, which was Maddie, and it pretty, it just instantly killed her. <laughs> Jesus. So you don't pick random deities at, <laughs> deities at random, Maddie. <laughs> There's consequences to your actions. The worst part is it was like a boss battle and I didn't take any damage from the boss. I just died twice from that fucker. It was straight up a, straight boss, up a boss fight and she's like, no, I don't want to be helpful. <laughs> Wait, I, healed, I healed everyone from death. I did my job. Did all of my windows close. What the fuck? Maybe you need to update your computer? Well, that, the, sorry, they didn't close. They all minimized and I don't know why. Weird. 12 damage you summon fire in your hand and project like a fire a baseball throw it at a skeleton he lands right in his mouth and he just fucking shatters yeah awesome. my character's just like ooh <laughs> nice he doesn't really see my lips. nah that's all I can do that'll bring us to Damien um I'm gonna use Eldritch Blast on one of the skeletons. Go for it. There's, There's one, one around you. Fantastic. 22. That'll hit. Fantastic. You unleash an Eldritch Blast into the skeleton. <clears throat> you blow off like an arm and uh, like his head. You still see the shambling body. Uh, still coming at you. Missing half of his rib cage. He seems to blew off the left side of him. But he's still up. I'm gonna take a few steps back from him. Just to try and keep out of his way if possible. You're go moving away from him? Yeah. Back for opportunity. He's gonna miss. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. All right. I'm on turn. Everyone will be another perception check. Good. Now I tried to roll in chat. Twenty-five. Fifteen. Seventeen. Don't roll it in chat, Maddie. That won't help. <laughs> Okay. So 
Okay. Ah. Only Damien will roll an advantage on the third saving throw. Make me saving throw. Brian's doing the thing. It's doing the thing again. Robotting. You might legit need to restart your computer. Which one are you connected to? I'm not. Okay. Okay. Also, there's two Brian's, like straight up. What? What? Like someone, like Brian will say a thing, and then there's a pause, and Brian says it again. Yeah. You're probably still getting him from my mic. I'm trying to talk quieter into my own. I think it's because Haley has the super sensitive one. It's, it's, it's super sensitive. sensitive. Um, um, so, Damien and Bromley can roll advantage on this dexterity saving throw. We're rolling a dexterity saving throw. As a sphere of ice flies overhead, shooting icicles down over in inside the arena. 25. Can I? Oh, oh I didn't roll. 23. I didn't, I didn't roll properly. Hold on. Yeah, 24! Anyway, I'm surprised. <laughs> Bromley saves. Sabina saves. Damien saves. saves. Everyone but kind of saves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's all these D6s? Where's D6s? I need more D6s. Oh, no, no. Uh, also, can I use my reaction on this turn if I'm doing a deck save myself? Uh, sure. Uh, sure. What, you, what are you doing? Um, I want to use one of my... Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up. Sorry. Uh, manifest Wings. First off, who didn't survive? <laughs> um, you mean save? You mean save. Save, whatever. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't save. Carnist didn't save. Carnist didn't save. Okay, I'm going to use Manifest Wings. Your Manifest Wings that can protect you. Uh, 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 you are a nearby creature. When you are another creature with... Oh, you're not within five feet of me. I'm sorry. Never mind. Oh, okay. Nope, he's 30 feet ahead of you. Never mind. Would have added to you. I would have helped, but oh well. 22... <laughs> Six. So though, so everyone except sorry, Karnas take twenty six damage. Everyone else take half of that as cold damage. As uh, shards of ice fly through the air towards you, it will impale two of the skeletons next to uh, Bromley and uh, Sabina. And they just fall over dead from the ice shards. You hear more groaning coming from the fog as well. Um. Yeah, that'll bring us to Karnas. There's still one skeleton next to you, and there's one skeleton next to uh, uh, next to Bromley and. Sabina. Okay, um, I'll attack the one that's next to me. Sounds good. Sounds good. Maddie, what do your wings do? What? No, it's just called manifest wings. Uh, you manifest wings that can protect you or nearby creature. When another creature is within five feet, is hit by an attack roll, you can use your react. Oh, I already fucked it up anyways. Uh, you can use your reaction to roll 1d4 and grant the result to the target's AC. Gotcha. I can do it five times per long rest. All right. That would not have been an attack roll, but good to no. know you have that. Dang it. <laughs> also, no one's going to be within five feet of me. 18, your first swing, you just slam it down like a club, shatters that skeleton. Okay. And then I attack with another skeleton. There's no more skeletons next to you. There's one 30 feet back by Bromley and Sabina. Um, if 
if it weren't for the fact that my sword is two with two, then I would. If I could cast a spell. A spell. Um, uh, or use my bane stick, but my sword's two handed, so I probably won't think. Let me do that. It's a bonus action, put it away, and then you, you can use your bane stick. Okay, I'll do that. Sure. So you put your two handed sword away and you pull a gun and aim it at Sabina in uh, Bromley. Got it. Had the, the <laughs> skeleton next to them. What's the range on your boomstick? Oh, had fun with this okay. character while it lasted. <laughs> so you're not at a disadvantage. Go for it. 15? Let me just look at something real quick. So you quickly, like, sword in hand, you, like, kind of, like, hold it behind you as you aim your boomstick. You go, crack! Bromley and Sabina. You hear the loud crack of gunpowder and the whistle of something flying through the air. It immediately lands into the head of the skeleton right before it takes another swipe at you. Just shatters everywhere. I forgot to have the skeletons attack, but whatever. Yeah, I, I was like, I hear the bang, and so I'm like, I turn, I'm like, I raise the shield up, like, crap. No, 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 again. I'm still traumatized from the first time I got no, shot in the ass by that. Out. And you still haven't still made, haven't that, made teacher. that teacher. I still haven't made that t-shirt either. What t-shirt? Oh, I was oh, gonna do a drawing for a t-shirt. The, oh. the, the drawing of Damien curled over with his ass in the air, and it says, I got you on the ass, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> from when from when Karnas failed his, his uh, attack roll with the bang stick the first time, oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. I got you on the ass from it. That was great. Yeah. Are they more happy? No. Oh, okay. Um, then... How far are we from... from Almod? You can only see 30 feet ahead of you, and you do not see him. Hmm. Can, can I... I save, save my, my third, third attack, attack as, as, as a prepared, prepared? Thing? Um, you've already initiated your attack action, so, so I don't think so. Okay, okay. then, um, I mean, I'm sorry. Since there's no more skeletons and I can't see him, then I guess I'm just gonna, gonna not, not do my third attack. You can always move around. Hmm. Let's see if you see anything. True. Um, I can only see can 30 feet ahead because of the fog. Correct. Correct. Um, I'll move forward, forward to, where to where I, I think, think he is. He is. Okay. So you're, so you're full, using your full movement? Yeah. Okay. okay. So Karnas sprints ahead into the fog. Karnas, as you move up, you see a large uh, form in the, sh in the fog. It's just like a silhouette of a shadow of a large winged beast. As soon as you get close, you see it stop, and the head kind of turns in your direction. You don't know if it's looking at you or behind it. <laughs> I shoot, I shoot at it. Okay. Go ahead and make me a attack roll. 16? 16. <laughs> Sticks is enough to hit. <clears throat> you guys hear coming from the mist another loud bang, <clears throat> and the groan of some draconoid creature. Uh, ten damage. Okay. You hear, Carnage, you hear it howl. As you hear another one on the other side of you, howl back. Uh, is that it for you, Karnas? Yeah, yeah. That takes us to Bromley. Alright, so the only skeleton that was near me was basically shot dead, right? Yeah, that skeleton's dead. Alright, now I'll just take my, uh, cool, uh, cool, I have 25, 25 feet, so I'll take that. Move up. 
Right. You start running up. You're about five feet behind Damien. Yep. Sabina, you are left alone in the fog. You see Bromley almost out of sight. Bromley, are you doing anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Sabina, you're up. Give me a Arcana check. Ooh. I'm in the wrong chat. Hold on. You have a moment of clarity and are able to uh, do a check. 24. You know the fog is not of natural order. It is some kind of magical spell. All right. I had my suspicions. That being said, I didn't think to bring anything that would clear out fog. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I prepared for some situations. Spells? Well, I would have to find the source to clear up. No, I wouldn't have to have the source. Nope. Uh, the source is magic. Yeah, you know what, though? I don't think I got to spell much. <laughs> You're the worst wizard. I don't have to spell <laughs> there. It's like the to be most... Fair. Fucking powerful spell in a fucking party fight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll let you be fair. I didn't bring, I didn't bring white mine in either. <laughs> Brian, how many yeah. fucking times have I actually succeeded on that goddamn spell, though? <laughs> I mean, you keep trying to spell high level spells. I hate the spell magic. It's super useful, especially when used against party members. Okay, so Sabina, your turn. What are you doing? I'm gonna see if I can find the creature. So, what's your movement? 30, or no, wait. Yes, 30. You run up 30 feet. You see Bromley take off and you start booking it as well. Damien, you see Bromley and uh, Sabina run up to you. Bromley stopping a wee bit short. They were all alive still. Shocking with Carnus's boomstick. <laughs> what you is the thing? They were all alive still as you hear bang bang, 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 bang and then like draconic roars from Carnus, who's in the middle of the arena. What? What is that magic wand he has? It's not a magic wand. It's his bang stick, as he calls it. That's terrifying. Try getting shot in the ass with it. Who's who Brandon Dio with it to give a kobold a gun? <laughs> Again, try getting shot in the ass with it. <laughs> I still have the scar from that thing. <laughs> I, how, what, why? Long story not worth explaining right now. You will come back to this though, right? if you want. <laughs> if we survive this. Yeah. Anywho, uh, so this fog is magical? Really? I... I wouldn't have ever guessed. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I had this divine opinion. Um, sorry, Brian. <laughs> uh, she wanted to cast Dispel Magic and see I the think... actual arena. I have so much spite for that spell, I can't stand looking at it. That sucks for you. <laughs> um, so we need to find this creature, I guess. Are we in turn still? Yeah, yeah it's Damon's yeah. turn. We <laughs> 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 all are just fucking chatting. Damon, <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, um, my question. Wouldn't yeah, that mean, if we dashed, wouldn't that mean Bromley and I went 60 feet? If you want to dash, you yeah, you guys didn't do anything. Run. You can run past you Damien if you want. You asked me to move, and then you didn't give me a chance to cast a spell. <laughs> what do you want to do, Manny? I have the spell up, and it's, oh, God, it's a Silver Shield of Light. Okay, what's Disney's, that do? Disney's Platinum Shield. I create a field of silver... 
You know what, Brian? You have chat up, right? God, I'm so pull up your character sheet. What level? <laughs> it's level six. I was just gonna post it in chat. It's hard to say everything. Platinum shield. Yeah. Fizz Band's Platinum Shield. Okay. Okay. And who are you casting, son? Uh, well, first off, can I see Karnas? Uh, you can see his uh, faint shadow ahead of you. How far ahead is that? 30 feet. 30 feet. I'm going to cast it on him. Okay. Okay. Karnas, you, Karnas, feel, you feel yourself shimmer. As there's a faint pl platinum sheen. sheen to your scales. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anything else? That's all for me turn now. Okay. okay. Damon, would you like to? What would you like to do? I'm gonna head into the fog. Okay. Try to okay. cover with Carnus. You following Carnus? Yep. Okay. okay. You move up, stop. you stop next to Karnas, as you see two sh uh, hulking shadows about, ah. about 30 feet away. I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use poison spray. Okay. okay. What's the range on that? Uh, oh, it's only 10 feet, actually, I think. So I don't know if I could actually reach anything or not. How far are they from us? Uh, at least 30. Okay. So I'd actually be better off using... Chill... Oh. Yeah, chill touch. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, shit, I didn't want to do advantage. Whoops. It doesn't really matter with spells anyway, because it doesn't show... It doesn't re-roll it. So, 20. Oh, just an attack roll, or is it a save? It is just an attack roll. Okay. okay. So, just so just in chat, go ahead and roll me a d20. d20. Plus your spell attack modifier. Because I don't, I don't see what the attack was. See if it hit or not. I only see damage. So d20 plus what now? Spell attack modifier. Which is would be the plus four, I guess. Uh, probably. Let me pull up your character sheet. Oh, well, attack and modifier. Oh. Spell attack. Spell attack is plus nine. Oh, plus nine. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it was just the modifier or if it was spell attack, but okay. All right, so twenty-five. 25 will definitely hit. Hell yeah. <clears throat> you let loose your chill touch, which is necrotic damage. Are you attacking the left one or the right one? Uh, left. You shoot that uh, sickly beam towards the left one. You see that it's figure grow slightly. Oh. <laughs> Anything else for your turn? Nope. Alright. All right. Um... Everyone, go ahead and make me another perception check. Nine. Thirteen. Ignore the second one, it's thirteen. Oh. Let me just roll that in general. What? What? It. There we go. Twenty-two. Um. 
Carnus and Sabina can make a attack of opportunity as three skeletons pop out of the ground. And I'm going to take a guess and say I can only use physical weapons for my attack of opportunity. Uh, indeed, unless you have the feat that gives you the uh, caster's attack of opportunity. I think it's called Warcaster. I don't quite remember what the hell it's called. Alright, well, all I have is unarmed strike. You don't have, like, a dagger or anything? I don't have a fucking dagger again. Alright. All right. I should invest in one. So, Karnas, so, you can take attack for opportunity if you want. Okay. On more skeletons rising out of the ground. Do Albert Claus, um, one-handed. One-handed. Uh, uh, Albert Claus, you... So you just kind of, like, stowed your sword away and you're just going, ha! Well, my sword's been away because I have my boom thing. Gotcha. Um, um you, take a you take a swipe at the skeletons and he just clanks against the rusted helmet that they have. No damage. No damage. Maddie? Maddie? Unarmed strike! <laughs> you, you instinctively <laughs> kick a skeleton, the skeleton coming out, and let's just tell me what your strength modifier is. Um, minus one. You instinctively kick it. You don't feel you did any damage, but there's a nice clang and like a rattle. You essentially just shook a rattle at him. God damn it. No, fuck it. You did one damage. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking at it here too, and it says legit. My damage is zero. This is silly. Oh yeah, because I'm not. So I have no function mm -hmm. for attack of opportunities. <laughs> okay. okay. Skeleton's gonna clamber out of the ground. They're gonna make two attacks against Sabina and one against Carnus. What's your AC, Maddie? Sixteen. Okay. The two miss against you, and Carnus is sixteen. Sixteen. Carnus, your that one will hit you. It'll hit you for. Keep losing my mouse. Uh, six piercing damage. Six. Six. So the skeleton's climbing out. He goes ah, stabs you right in the like the thigh. You meet a little cobalt haunch. And then you hear the roars. Karnas, you see the shadow on the left and the shadow on the right start bounding towards you. Um. Damien and Karnas, both of you make me two dexterity saving throws. As you guys see two wyverns run up a on you, making like a little V with you guys at the bottom center, breathing fire on you. Eighteen and eleven. Okay. Fifteen and five. So for the first breath, both of you take six fire damage. So since I've got fire resistance. Yep. For the second one, both of you guys take four fire damage. I rolled super fucking low. Or sorry, that was fail. Eight fire damage for the second one. I had to when I wasn't supposed to. There we go. Um. So something that. Regular, regular, regular to get to use. Uh, uh, I'm not used to people. I've packed packets as a cobalt. As a cobalt. So, so if, if, an if an ally is within five feet of me, feet of me and not incapacitated, I have an advantage. Okay. As Carlos comes to this realization, the wyvern whips its tail up and thrusts its stinger at you. One at Damien, one at Carlos. One that Damien fucking... Damien, what's your AC? 15. 
Oh shit, that just hits. Oh. Um, Damien. Uh huh. Give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh, As you take five poison damage. Fourteen. Fourteen. You said five? Yeah. yeah. Great. Um, um Damien. Damien. Uh huh. That's a lot of sixes. <laughs> Not what you want to hear. You take 24 poison damage as you feel the venom. Uh, you just get envenomed and just feel it seep into your chest. The stinger pulls out and you see a little bit like leak out as it singes your uh, skin veins. Kind of. Sorry, I'm a little late to the show because I was getting food. Is Damien right next to me? Damien's next to Damien. 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 Damien's next to Karnas, which is 30 feet ahead of you. God damn it. Never mind. Please, I'm gonna make your do some healing. And Karnas, attack against you. What's your AC? 16. Plus, that just hits. Um, go ahead and make me a constitution saving throw. As you take 4 piercing damage from the stinger. Sixteen. So you'll take half of this. <laughs> so twenty-one. Half of that is ten. You take ten uh, poison damage. And now it's Carnus's turn. He is in melee range with you. I would like to hit the wyvern. Okay, with what? Uh, Albert. Okay. So you got a gun in one hand and Albert in the other? Yeah. Okay. 20. 20 will hit. You slap him for four damage across the board. Can you do it two more times? Go for it. <clears throat> 16 and 50. Well, if those hit. Um, and then can I use bonus action for them? Uh, your bonus action will be for your offhand. So you can shoot him at disadvantage because he's in melee with you. Can I hit him with my gun? It'd be a an arm strike. Go for it. Sixteen. You're hacking, and slashing him with it. Uh, roll me D one hundred, by the way. Yeah. You're just taking swipes with the other one. You kind of flip your gun up, grab it by the barrel, and just kind of crack him with the uh, hilt of it. As you're slashing, you see. Gaseous wounds on these creatures. Carnage, you recognize these as the wyverns from before. The ones that didn't quite make it out of the arena. I got a hundred. I got a hundred. You got a hundred? I got a hundred. I don't know why, I don't know why Spencer, Spencer rolls the beyond, 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 beyond that shows up in there. But it's right here. But it's right here. So. The thing, the thing with you hundred is you went lower. I know. I know. As you crack. The wyvern with your gun, it misfires, and you shoot yourself. Go ahead and roll your gun's damage as your boomstick hits, fires upon you. My gun's damage. Six. Go ahead and take six damage, and it fires directly, like, into your armpit. I don't want to say right now, Chris, but now you know how I fucking feel. Did you say that's karma? 
Yes, I would say that's Karnak. <laughs> no, Karnas. <laughs> I'm just going to paint this one right now. 19 and 6. Okay. Uh, anything, anything else for your turn, Karnas? No, that'll be, that'll be it. Okay. okay. That'll take us to Bromley. All right, remind me here. I can do two attacks or one spell, right? Correct. Correct. All right. There are two skeletons next to you. All right. And you can see two large figures and a small skeleton next to Damien and Bromley. And uh, Damien and uh, Karnas. And uh, this uh, fog, is it basically the entire arena floor? Say again? This fog? Yeah. Yeah. There's a magical, magical fog uh, encapsulating the entire arena. Alright. So I'll just uh, deal with the uh, immediate threat of these skeletons first. Okay. Pretty bad. Yeah, you start swinging your phone and you crack one skeleton and it immediately explodes in the flash of light. And I get that next one. Go for it. 27. Uh, with, a with a backhand, you slap the one that Sabina had kicked. His head goes flying off into the stands, shatters against the magical barrier. And it's like little like light sparkles as the radiant energy burns away the uh, undead bones, kind of like a after the aftershock of a fire, not aftershock of fire, like the embers of a firework falling down. It just illuminates a bit. Your skeletons are dead. There's one next to Carnus, but other than that, let me look at one more thing. Go for it. Bromley's good at killing undead, yo. Imagine that as a paladin. Yeah, I'm, I'm being... full of dark, I'm dark tonight and I don't know why. Embrace it. Embrace it. Full of what? Snark. Snark. Eh. Welcome, I mean, you see life. who she married. True. <laughs> What's that, Maddie? What? What's that, Maddie? You trying to start shit? I'm not! We both mm. agree you're snarky. I am adorably snarky. I didn't say adorable. I didn't. You just did. Haley, Haley, cut it together where Maddie says I'm adorable. Okay. In the edit. I'll do my best. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Somebody clip a bit. It's I'm being so slandered. A Somebody clip it, it so it makes it easy for me. Is it slander or libel? I don't know. Uh, Alright. Not either, yeah. technically. What else you got, Bromley? Uh, I can do one bonus action, correct? I believe so. <laughs> Sorry, say that one more time. I can do one bonus action, right? Yes. All right. And, and your movement. Yep. I'm gonna do a bonus action. And who's in? Uh, who's uh, around me or in front of me or something? Uh, Sabina. Uh, Sabina is right next to you. All right. And how far are the other two? Thirty feet away. Sorry for you. Thirty-five feet away. All right. Well, I'm gonna cast uh, some shield of faith. I'm gonna send it over to uh, uh, crap. I forgot a name. Damien. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Damon. Yeah. As you, you, you like see the stinger come out, you see the uh, venom seeping out of your wound, you see uh, your body just start shimmering with magical energy. Well, that's unnerving. Giving you a wee bit of confidence. I'll take it, though. Um, that will bring us to... And probably, do you move up? Uh, yeah, I'll move up my, uh, my 25. Okay. okay. Sounds good. That'll bring us to Sabina. Um, what creatures can I see within my field of view? Sabina, you're now behind 
He's also frozen. Yeah. Everyone's going robotic. Everyone's going robotic for me. You went robotic for everyone. Uh. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Brian. Let me know when Brian becomes a real boy. Yeah, I mean, you guys gotta tell me. I mean, everyone I mean, sounds you guys fine to me. me. <laughs> Did you say everything he sounds fine to you? Everybody sounds fine Everybody to me. Everybody sounds fine to me. Okay, to be fair. Brian doesn't count. Brian doesn't count. Brian doesn't count. Yeah. But he said Neither that's the way I sound. I hate this. But like you guys oh. sound like, fine. You guys sound to fine to me. But robot to him. But robot to him. Yeah. Yeah. What? Why is why is why is does the clip Go to a distinct hungry habanero tiny face. It's just the title. It's just the. Uh, that's not what I title it. The... Well, no, it's not the title. It's the it's the link. That's all it is. That's just what it does for the link. <laughs> like what? Like what? Distinct habanero tiny face. Yeah. It's just... What the fuck? It's so weird. Clip URL. It's just the URL. All right. All right. <laughs> Sabina, what are you doing? Uh, I asked who I could see, and then you turned into a robot. Uh, Bromley, uh, Bromley is 20 feet ahead of you. Karnas and Damien are 30 feet, uh, 30 feet ahead of you. I met enemies. Uh, you see two undead wyverns and a skeleton. How far is the skeleton from me? 30 feet. 30 feet. Oh, how far is the uh, wyverns? Like 35. Uh, I'm on the other side of Karnas. And Damien. Oh, so that would be a bad idea because they would be in my path. Um, but like off to the side, like uh, uh, Damien Cardis would be the point of a V, and the uh, wyverns would be like the outstretched part. Would I so be able to like ten o'clock and two o'clock? Would I be able to line up a fireball so I hit the wyverns and not my team? Uh, yeah, I'd say you probably would be able to. I'm you gonna cast smart fireball. Enough. All right, dexterity saving throws. Well, on these big fucking dice. What do I have to meet? Seventeen. One of them succeeds. Plus, really? Uh, one succeeds, one fails. Yay! Um, uh, I mean, uh, wait, no, yay! <laughs> Everyone always makes fun of me when they fail the saves, but I'm like, that means it means good thing. And mixed emotions uh, fills the crowd. <laughs> hey, whatever. Uh, 18. Very much the aspect of what you hear. These people are like, yeah, explosion, but it's the elf doing it. How much? How much? <laughs> I gotta do 8d6. Uh, the one that saves takes half. Okay. okay. 21. There are two ones in there. Two ones and three twos. Nice. Nice. Solid, solid, solid fireball, damage right fireball damage right there. All right. All right. <clears throat> well, I can cuss a boom. You, you, shoot, you a shoot a little, little beat of, beat of uh, fireball. fireball. It flies through the air. As soon as it gets to the point of origin that you want, it just expands and explodes rapidly. Catching the wyverns. One of them more so. The one that was larger catches on fire. Ooh. Anything else? Anything else? That and me too. Oh, well, I want to recenter the shield on harness. Carnus. Carnus. <laughs> okay. Carnus. Okay. Carnus. My brain wanted to say Haley, but then I stopped it. <laughs> Are you moving up? Um, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Okay. Damien, you're up. I'm gonna double down on what uh, Sabina just just did, and I'm gonna use Sacred Flame on one of on the one of the wyverns. Okay. Okay. So next, are you saving throw? Yep, seventeen. Natural, Natural one. 
<laughs> Fantastic. 17 radiant damage. Okay. Uh, are you talking the one that's on fire or the other one? Um, the other one. Make a match. Okay. You see uh, white flames just kind of sparkle and shimmer as it ignites onto the wyvern. You see the recoil in pain, letting out a very loud uh, groan and roar. It's starting to not look that great. Anything else, Damien? Nope. Okay. Um, everyone give me another perception check. Uh, 19. 23. Hold on. Sorry. I lost the chat. 14. 14. Twenty-five. Okay. So everyone but Karnas will get advantage. Give me one second. One Mississippi. Um. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry Maddie. You're not even close enough. So Bromley. Carnus and Damien, give me Constitution saving throws. Uh, Bromley and Damien can do it at advantage. Thirteen. Thirteen. And. Thirteen. Jesus. Eighteen. Why are so many thirteens? Oh, wow. Eighteen, 18 for me. Okay, let's see spellcasting modifier or uh, save. Okay, so Bromley, you succeed as a stream of greenish yellow cloud fills the area. You guys start coughing with, uh, coughing and sucking in and coughing poisonous gas. Oh, those are tens and eight eights. Uh, five. Jesus. 23. 30 points of poison damage. And half as much to Bromley. You got to have potions. You remember this, right? Kern is unconscious. Oh. Yep. Yeah, the 30 to start with, right? 30 to start with, but you took half. All right. I forgot I had healing word, or I forgot I hurt, had a bonus action that was a healing thing. Haley's Until... resistant to poison. I'm not, not, not in this game. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Haley. My spell. spell that she put oh, on no me. Spell. Well, isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> so I take, so I take 15, 15 then? then? Instead of, instead of yes. Okay. How do I bring my? Just heal yourself. I'm not a yeah, fifty. I forgot. Fifty-eight. I forgot that I have healing, healing light as a bonus action until mm -hmm. after my turn. So I'm down right now. I should have. Well, that's not good. <laughs> no. Nope, it's not. Just about to have a widow. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope not. 
I should say is about to be, not about to have. <laughs> that would imply kiss was dying. Well, then it would be widow. It would be widow er, not yes. widow. Larry's about to be a widow, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not, though. Doesn't help her raise, help raise the demon baby. baby. <laughs> um, demon baby. Demon baby. Demon baby. Oh, demon baby. Bromley, you instinctively like <laughs> see it coming. You hold your breath. Even though you're holding breath, you still take some damage. Carnus, you as well, but you're a little late on holding the breath. You see the cloud stay there and start expanding. Uh, um, the wyverns are going now. They also take some damage. This is in chat, apparently. She is. She is. <laughs> Where? She just you said Damien hasn't proposed yet. Don't kill him. Oh, I sent her a message. Oh, I don't see this anywhere. Yeah, where is this? Yeah. It's in yeah. John's RP chat. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I thought you meant in the. Uh... Yeah, I thought she was in. Uh, the Twitch chat, but no. Apparently, Haley just said. Hashtag not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Damien, Damien, as soon as you go unconscious, tendrils, tendrils from the sand, like, uh, uh wrappings, reach, reach out, out and encompass you and suck you into the sand. Oh, good. You're out of the fight. Oh, good. That's... Your corpse disappears. That's it. Wyverns turn to... Bromley, and they both lunge at him. One's, sorry, one's going to attack Karnas, one's going after Bromley. Let's go roll for Karnas. What's your AC? 16. One of them jumps onto you, but you kind of like duck and roll to go right underneath it so its belly is above you. You look up and you see like a sword had gutted it previously, and like its entrails are kind of dangling on your head. It, you see its head kind of turn to look underneath itself and try and snap at you. But you keep, like, kind of hiding underneath its legs. It just missed you. Uh, Bromley. Uh, go ahead and give me Attack of Opportunity. As one of the, the larger uh, wyvern leaps at you. And you just see a uh, point that you can just... Whack it with your mace or flail as it rolls a critical fail against attacking you. 27. 27. Yeah, you whack the shit of it for. So, probably, how do you want to kill this big one? I think, uh, like, a, when he's coming at me, I do a, uh, like, a, like a, a crack. And when he goes to the ground, I go one big swing right across his head. Very and, nice. And flies back right over the ground. Execution, so you just crack it right in the head, skull. Yeah, I it hit it down. Kind of... Yeah, I hit it down, it hits the ground, and I'm like, ah, crack. And it just goes, boy. It slides into the sand, ass over tail, just flops. You hear it <sighs> as the magical vapors exit from its mouth and body. You start seeing like its corpse just start to start to fet. Um, that will bring us to. I keep closing my fucking things. Carnus. Yep. Yep. You're up. It's a good thing you weren't uh, up with everyone. <laughs> God, I probably would have died. Uh, there's still a wyvern alive. alive. Right. right. Say again? There's still a wyvern? There's one that you're hiding under. 
that's trying to attack you. Um, I would like, would like to, to uh, thrust up thrust into it with my great sword. You like, like, just like just drop, drop the gun, gun and the alabar. You swing your arms around and like sword. thrust your sword up. Yeah. From your back. Sure. sure. Make, an Make an attack roll. Fifteen. Fifteen. Just hit. Okay. Do it again. Eight damage. Twenty-three. <clears throat> Twenty-three will hit. Eleven damage. Looking good. One. It's still barely alive. Twenty-two. 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 So, so Carnus, what does it look like when you kill this one? Um, I like I, like, I, I am shoving, I'm shoving my sword, my sword up, up into it, into it and like with a bit, a bit more strength, strength each time. Each time, on and on the last one, I like jump, I jump, and, and mm -hmm. shove my sword and just go straight, straight through it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Um, Damien, roll me D100. Oh, goody. I'm sorry, roll me uh, D20 for funsies. Ah, oh, you were better. <laughs> sorry, say that again, Brian. Roll D20 for, as, uh, roll me a luck for funsies. Ah, okay. D20 plus... Deck, which is four and two, so... Seven. Oh, no. You have a plus five. You have a plus five. You do have eleven. Plus five, eleven, or sorry, twelve. Okay. Brain can do math. Okay. okay. <laughs> so. so. Damien's, Damien's good. Nothing, nothing bad, bad happens body. to the body. Yay. <clears throat> Um, that will bring us to, uh, Brumley. Yeah, I, I see Rhonda, and I'm getting tired of this fog. Brumley? Okay, yeah. Wouldn't it be... You're dead. You're dead. Almus? Wouldn't it be Almus? He's after... No, he's after you. Yeah, he's after... Oh. Yeah. Oh, right, because they did the whole thing, too. And it's just one. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. My, my bad. I, I thought we had some, and brain fried. Ignore me. Probably you're up. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm looking around. We still have that fog around us, right? Yep. Yep. I'm like, I'm getting tired of not seeing, and so I cast me some spell magic. What level? What level? Uh, third level. Third level. Terrible spell. <laughs> yeah, that does it. You see the fog fade away and dissipate. <clears throat> Not the green gaseous that's uh, causing damage to you guys, but the obscuring fog lifts. As on the other end of the arena, you see a wizard concentrating on spells. So annoyed that hit. Not for the party, just I have wasted so many fucking spell slots on dispel magic. I use like half my slots one day just to unlobsterify a player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad Will doesn't, doesn't watch these streams. I think he'll get a kick out of it. <laughs> I miss Teddy Lobster. <laughs> I spent, like, all day making sure another party member wouldn't slam him against the wall. Um, Brumley, anything else in your turn? Uh, I should have movement and bonus, right? Correct. Yeah, alright. You know what, take it. Get back there. Alright, and, uh, what else is, uh, nearby? Uh, uh, there's, there's one skeleton behind Karnas that is just failing to hit him. Let's just say the uh, Wyvern stepped on that one. I keep forgetting about that little skeleton. 
<clears throat> you see like a little skull of a skeleton like chomping away trying to get to someone. But you see the wizard uh, from you 250 feet away. Yeah, but I'll just uh, take my movement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you doing 25? So yep. Right. 75 feet. You start rushing past, making your way towards him. You're 15 feet ahead of Carnus. All right. Is that it for your turn? Uh, what else do I have? Yeah. Okay. okay. That'll bring us to Sabina. Uh, how far out is he? From you? Yeah. 270. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, I want to avoid the smoke. Uh, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, it's 200 feet uh, long, 100 feet wide. You can easily go around it. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, also, everyone's in it, because I was going to kill Karnas, but I need them out of it. Karnas uh, uh, is the only one in it. Karnas. <laughs> is anyone we else just looking... Left it. Is on... anyone looking roughed up, then? It's only you, Karnas, and uh, Sabina. Or Brahma. I, yes. Are any of them but looking if... like they need to heal? Looks like he needs to you can go ahead and make a medicine check to see. Uh, it starts with F. Oh, okay. Discord is being weird. Cool. Carlos cool. looks like he's covered in blood. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know if it's someone blood. else's blood. <laughs> hey, Carlos is in the gas cloud, right? Correct. Correct. Okay, well, good luck, Carlos. I'm gonna try and walk <laughs> around the orb to get to the necromancer dude, wizard dude. Okay. okay. Can I just dash so I make up some distance? Yeah. yeah. You can go around it. We'll say we'll cut 15 feet out from your total if you're going, like, around the cloud. Okay. So that's... Oh, you'd be right next to Bromley. 75 feet in. Anything else? Nah. Okay. You see Almada kind of like shamble up leaving his little ritual circle he starts holding the staff as he uh, makes a wide sweeping motion um Sabina give me a dexterity saving throw Oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. It's a plus five. What's a plus five? The saving throw. Oh. oh. So, so, minus four from it? Yes. Wait, what would that put me at? Uh, I'm... Wait, did I already use my inspiration? No, I didn't. I'm going to use my inspiration to do that again. Do it. Do it. I forgot that he gave us inspiration last week. <laughs> Oh, I just inspiration each time you fucking recap. Do a recap. Yeah, I know, but I forgot that he gave us inspiration for coming last week. Me, Brian, me, timeless Raz. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Keep forgetting about it. I just remember that now. Fourteen. Oh, also, how many plus fives do I have? Uh. You gave yourself one from today? Or was that, did yeah. you give it to someone else? I gave that to Damien. And I used it. Yeah. Uh, Maddie, you have two plus fives. I'm going to use one on that because I know 14 will not pass. With a 19? With 19? A beam? 
texts from the staff. Brian froze again. Are just what? God damn it. How about now? Am I good? No. Not yet. Oh, please. He's been having internet issues all day. Oh. And I think yesterday, too. And I think yesterday, too. Is there any way you can hook up, like, an ethernet cord? I'm just closing off all the extra shit. Just close off the extra shit. It's so weird, because we hear him first in Haley's mic. And then we hear his mic. Let's see if that helps. It seems like it did, because like, we can see yeah. you moving. Hey, hey good. I think Steam was, was trying to do something. Isn't it usually? Usually, yeah. Usually, yeah. So, this will be a beam of sickly green comes from the staff and arches all the way over towards you but you just kind of what was it deck save what did you do yeah at the last second you just kind of sidestep it real cocky like and just it just flies past you you see the side of the arena wall like the sandstone just kind of changes color and melts away You did not take any damage. Yay. Nick Karotic. He's gonna slam his staff into the ground. That's six skeletons emerge from the ground. <laughs> um, they will act on the next turn, because that's the end of his turn. That it brings to Karnas. Okay. okay. Uh, Karnas, give me a constitution saving throw. Ten. Ten. You, uh, you want to keep that ten? Are you doing any anything to it? That's good. Oh, oh, twenty-one. Okay. okay. Still, still in the cloud, you take 10 more poison damage. I'm unconscious. You're resistant! Am I still resistant? Yes! How long, How long does your shield last? last? Uh, I should check that. I think it's a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use that to heal myself. Okay. Haley's really hell-bent. Yeah, it's a minute. You're, you're really hell-bent. You're hell more of the toxic fumes. And you start coughing out blood and uh, viscous sinew from, from inside. I would like to go 30 feet. That, that sounds great. Get out of the cloud. Get out of the cloud. As you, As you run past. You see it's about 15 feet. Uh, you're moving 30? Yes. Or are you doing your double? Um, how far is it to get out? It's, t uh, 20 feet to get out. Okay, then I'll go 30. Okay. Or, sorry, 10 feet to get out of it. I'll go 30. Okay, so you're 90 feet ahead. So you're 15 feet past Sabina and Bromley. Okay, how close, how close am I to, um, Alba? 100, 210. You have a potion or anything? I've not have given you guys potions. If you run near Sabina, she can touch you. Where's, Where's Sabina? Sabina? You ran like 15 feet past me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, I guess I'll stop next to Sabina. Okay. okay. You want to hold an action to run on her turn, or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spend half your movement, run up, and then just wait to be healed. Yeah. Sounds good. That brings us to Bromley. How far away is a carnage for me? He stopped right next to you. All right. If he's right next to me, I'm going to do some of that lay on hands. For how much? Uh, I'm giving him 40. 40. 40? Holy shit. Yeah. Give me a 40 point. Uh, wait, really? it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Any number of hit points remaining in the board, five percent of mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a 40 uh, hit points back. Sweet. So you run up next to Bromley. He just kind of gives you a good old pat on the back as you just start feeling that uh, divine energy fill through you and just force the rest of that toxin out. You feel a lot better. Thanks, Bromley. <laughs> Not a problem, my friend. Get back in this fight. Anything else, Bromley? Uh, I used that. Did use the a movement because I didn't move over to uh no I didn't move you didn't move yeah yeah movement and a bonus action uh, one second <laughs> and then along with the the land hand the land hands I uh, I did a, I uh give a Carnis, uh Sanctuary. Yeah. What? Sanctuary? Right here. Cast it. Uh, you ward a creature within range against attack until a spell land any creature who targets a warded creature with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. I was able to say okay. Yeah. Oh, that's my end. That's the bonus action. And then uh, with that, I... Uh, Take my twenty-five feet back uh, toward the toward the him. Okay. I stop off, kill him, give him some sanctuary. All right, gotta run. <laughs> yeah, <that'll be> bye. <laughs> stand, stand back up, my friend. Here's some, here's some uh, safety. All right, back to the fight. Okay. Are you moving ahead too? Are you moving up, Bromley? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So you are a hundred feet into the arena. Yep. Um, it is eight o'clock, and we can stop here if you guys need. Probably. Maybe not. Well, everyone except for me works tomorrow. I don't want to though. We'll just, we'll call, just call out. Oh god, they would actually murder me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I mean, it, it's good, uh, dispense for, uh, the next time. Come on. Yeah. yeah. True. Damien might not be dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like this is not a first for Damien. It's not. <laughs> I uh, know if you watched my uh, the previous episodes, which are on YouTube. And it's on YouTube. <laughs> um, this is not the first series that this has happened in either. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't. It wasn't suspense, at least. He got revived after he called a dragon an asshole. Yep. What happens when you call dragons assholes? Okay. He's being an asshole, I'm gonna call him an asshole. <laughs> if it looks like an asshole, smells like an asshole, and shits like an asshole, it's an asshole. Exactly. Anyway, anyway. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you everyone, everyone, for watching. For watching. Um, um, I, take I take commissions for, for Chunky D20s, like the one Brian is holding. holding. If you, if you listen to Spotify, Spotify, I'm sorry you can't see it. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, is that with gold or is that with a, a copper color? Copper. copper. I was gonna say it looks. It's a really good color with that. That blue. Yeah, it's copper. It's copper. Um, at the shop, at the shop I, I changed, changed the name of it, of it to Timeless Storm, Storm Crafts. Crafts. Um, uh, can also find me on Facebook. Facebook. Um, message, message me if you, if you want, want Chunky, Chunky D20. D20. And, or uh, any of her other amazing products. Yes, yes I, I was working, was working on, on some dice, dice uh, tonight. tonight. She's got but, dice, she's got jars, she's got dragon heads. Yes. yes. She's got uh, spray painting. She's also got yes. official Timeless Storm merch. I do. She's and got you, some good shit. If you buy if Timeless, Timeless Storm, Storm merch during, during the stream, stream? Then you, then you can give it to anybody and in instant, instant success. success. I kind of need a couple of those next round. What a jazz. jazz. <laughs> yes, yes, my resin things. Anyway, thank you for watching. Join us, Join us again, again next, next week. week. Um, um, hopefully, hopefully we all survive, survive this fight. This fight. Um, no problem. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I don't, I don't know, know what time. time. Please, 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 please